Kingston potter and painter Eduardo Gouveia immigrated to Canada from the Portuguese Azores, an archipelago of nine islands in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Lagoa, the city where he was born, has a long tradition with pottery lasting hundreds of years. story here because in those days there was no way you could get a boyfriend without the chaperone going with you. So sometimes the mother would say to the girl, go and get some water on the fountain and she would go. There is the path right there. And then the boyfriend knew because she told her and they met by the, the fountain and of course they looked everywhere, no one, then they kissed. <laughs> if the mother see the kiss it would be a big problem. Not anymore, that used to be. Before I came to Canada, I was working in a ceramic plant. I was a decorator and the artist there, doing modelings and uh, the painting ceramic decoration. When I was a little kid, I got a piece of clay and I molded, make something of it. I didn't know I had that talent. And then one day, the plant, they lost the artist that was doing the, the decorations and the, the modeling. And the, the guys that worked with my father knew me that they said to the boss that, hey, who feed the, the son of Mr. Govea, I think he does this stuff. So the guy came to my father, not to me, and asked my father if I could go and work for the plant. The clay obeys to us. I wanted to make a barrel. I would go like this. If you wanted to change this piece in something narrow, you go like this. You want it open? You bring it up. I want to make a jog. I would do something like that. In 1965, I had a chance to immigrate to Canada. I started working um, here in Kingston as a labor. Working as a labor didn't, didn't come because I was used to get a, a painting, a little brush. So I decided to look for another job. So I worked 35 years in real estate. When the pieces are made with clay, it's dried and fired at 1860 degrees. And I paint it. When it's done, it will become something like this. I put some design sometimes, other times these letters. A plate or a pot is one. You see one, it cannot be reproduced. I was always thinking about ceramic pottery painting. But I didn't want to, to do the pottery, I just wanted to paint. So in order to paint the pottery, to decorate, I had to have the pot. And I said, when I'm going, I, I tried to find parts to, to buy, to paint, it didn't work. I had to learn, and I self-learned pottery to do the pots on the wheel and everything. So now I know and it's been for about 20 years that I'm doing that now. Part-time first and now full-time. And I go sh to shows, uh, Toronto, United States, Montreal, different places. The killing of the pig. This was, not anymore, a tradition in the islands and Portugal and other countries probably. The killing of the pig. By the way, the pigs in the island were black hair, not white. So. Two or three guys grab the keep the pig and the guy kills it. They use the blood to make sausage, but not anymore. Before I do ceramics, I started with figurines, showing different stages of life in, in our islands and in Portugal in general, showing the different figurines that they are traditions of the island. And these figurines were used to make presepios. Presepios in San Miguel means nativity scenes. When they do a presepi, they represent a city or a village. 
if Jesus had born in San Miguel, there would be streets, people walking on the streets, the house would look like that. San Miguel is very hilly, lots of mountains. All the streets come down to the Nativity scene here. Eduardo's artistic legacy can also be found in the community hall at Our Lady of Fatima Portuguese Catholic Church. Eduardo and his father painted 19 murals depicting scenes from Portugal in the Azores to help the parish's immigrants adjust to a new life in Canada. We had so many people in Kingston from Lomba de Maia, which is in the island of San Miguel. I myself passed by the street lots of times to go to the church, which is, uh, you know, it goes around the street and come back. That's two, ch two uh, over here, this one, that was two schools. So that was important because many people from uh, that place, they could relate. Every time they come here, they say, hey, there's my house, there's my house. When we started the church here, that's when, you know, my father was here and he was much, much better than me. Painting walls, murals. I learned with him, but I'm still learning <laughs> until I die. This one here is a Costa North of San Miguel, in the island of San Miguel, a north view of one part of the island. We had to decide to make paintings to please everybody. So one painting from the mainland, one from the Azores, and then we ended up like this. St. George Castle, Lisbon, because Lisbon is composed of seven, they call it collines, actually. It's like mountains, small mountains, and it's built right there on the top. And it's like a landmark of Lisbon. The lake of seven cities in the island of San Miguel, there is a color of the blue lake on that side and the green one. So it's two in one lake with different colors. This one is very important too. You see the boats there with the cross? This is called Tour Oblain, which was the point, the point to inaugurate the discoveries of Portugal all over the world. This is a, a question that <laughs> many people ask me, and especially my wife. She says, it one, do you, what do you get with this? We're not making any money here. I said, Anna, I don't work for money. I work for love. I love to do this stuff. And when somebody comes to me and says, this is beautiful, I'm paid. I'm paid already. Money doesn't come.